Nick is my 28-year-old son. He's on the autistic spectrum. He is uh, nonverbal, and he expresses himself through his, uh, his art. We're in Boston with Artlifting's Liz Powers, who's pioneering a new movement in the art world, combining income and intention. And you will not believe who these artists are. For the last 10 years, I've been working with individuals who are homeless and have disabilities. And they've repeatedly told me, Liz, I don't want a handout. I want an opportunity. In 2009, I was working at Harvard, and I got laid off during the recession. And it was a very difficult time not being able to find not even temp work. So now I'm homeless, and I don't have any income. How can we change the future of social enterprise? So we're creating more jobs, and we're redefining what a job is, so the economy includes more people who desperately want to work. So that's what I did after graduating from Harvard, running art groups and local shelters. It's like, wait, this artwork is amazing, and a lot of it is saleable. So the new idea was, well, let's create a marketplace, curate the top artwork, and then sell it. My case manager hooked up a meeting with myself and Liz. She asked me if I was interested in joining art lifting. You know, you're about to be on your way to becoming a professional artist now. Selling my art, it, it just never occurred to me. Someone brought my mail for me from the shelter, and it was from art lifting, and it was my first check, and I cried. He knows he's good at, at art, and that's just, you, you know, you can't put a price tag on that kind of joy that, that comes from your boy, you know, who's been counted out, you know, all his life, and, and demeaned, and, you, you know, perhaps bullied. We define our impact in two ways. One is obviously financial, but the second is confidence gain. And that piece is actually the most important to me, is seeing this domino effect of positivity on their life. But then when I actually sell something, I don't know why I'm feeling so surprised. Like, that's the point. But I feel this overwhelming sense of gratefulness and like, this is really happening.